Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm making this small wooden box for the electronic thermostat I made for the shop. In the shop, I have two 5000 watt heaters, one at the back and one in the front. Both are turned on by this old style thermostat. <laughs> okay, I never use the one at the front. I only use the back one. It's enough to heat the shop. But this type of thermostat is not very efficient. I will make something better. The first thing to do is build a box for the electronic circuit that I will make. For this, I have to glue a bunch of tin planks together. Since it's pretty thin, I clamp this between two thicker pieces of wood and let the glue dry. Now is the ideal time to make the front out of plexiglass. I remove the LCD from my circuit and trace its shape onto a piece of cardboard. Then I cut it. Perfect. I put everything together and mark the spots for the rest of the holes. I drilled one hole for the motion detector, uh, but in the end, I end up not using it. Now I can trace the final shape and cut a piece of plexiglass. Here's where my pattern comes in super handy. Now that the glue is dry, I have to take care of the wood. The groove for the plexiglass is done. So now I can cut a rabbit for the back and a chamfer inside the box. Now it's time to cut the box. Now I can glue it. This is quite simple. I hold everything with painter's tape, add a bit of glue and close it over the plexiglass. To hold it together while the glue dries, I use elastic bands. If I left this like that, it wouldn't hold for very long. That's why I drill a mortise in each corner. To hold this at 45 degrees, I use two squares clamped to my workbench. The mortises are not very deep. That's why I need to cut my dominoes before gluing them in place. When the glue is dry, I cut off the excess. Here's a taste of the final product. I also want a USB plug on this side 
so I need to make a square hole. Done. Uh, but I really don't know if I will use it. Up until now, I haven't had to. But it's also used to power up the electronics I made. But this also needs a back. I need an opening for the power cord and the thermometer. Perfect. I have all the pieces, but I need to drill some holes to hold the back in place. All finished. Now it's time to apply some finish. The inside of the back is only painted red. On the rest, I brush a coat of linseed oil. Oil always makes cedar pop out. I use 5 minute epoxy for the back of the masonite. To make it more liquid, I heat it with a heat gun. When this type of epoxy is hot, it becomes super liquid, so it's easier to spread. While all this dries, I'm going to talk a bit about the electronic part of this project. First of all, I start and stop my dust collector and radio with a receiver like this one. Both of my remotes don't work as they used to. Almost all the push buttons don't work anymore. I always need to have both of them at hand to start and stop everything. I even had to reprogram the receivers so they would still work. So, using my numeric oscilloscope, I was able to record the codes of my transmitters. With this, I'm able to reproduce all of them. Here's what I did. In fact, it doesn't do much. I can start and stop my five receivers and control the heat in the shop. Since I always use a touchscreen, I also have a couple of setup menus. To make it more user-friendly, I also programmed an app for the phone that I always leave in the shop. On the LCD, I can see the temperatures of the last 8 hours. When it's red, it means that the heater was turned on. Now that everything is dry, I can assemble all of it. I also need to add a tiny relay to start the heater. Yes, I can use such a small relay because the heater power goes through this 50 amperes relay. This one only draws 200 milliamperes. Now, the heat can work with the original thermostat and my new one. Yes, I can start it by hand, but it's programmed to keep the shop at 14 degrees Celsius when there's no one inside and 18 Celsius when the camera sees someone. I can also start the radio with the app. Same for the dust collector. for fun, I also put a voice recognition software in the phone. But to be honest, I've never used it like that. Inside the basement, on my laptop, with the Wi-Fi connection, I receive all the modules information, like someone was inside the shop, the state of the heater, and the temperature among the rest. I also have some stats about how many minutes the heater was on for one year. This was the small box I made to have a better thermostat in my shop. I'm sorry if I bored you with all this electronic gibberish. And see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker.